it's so always the first question they ask, which end is pot sitting on here? It's all good, it's all good. But I want to know from Christian, man, uh, two-time Mill Rose Games champion, back-to-back, -back, last year, I mean, two years ago, 6-4-9, 6-4-7. What can we expect this Sunday? Honestly, I haven't even really thought about a time or anything like that. Like, I really just want to come out and execute a good race. Like, I feel like at the beginning of the season, like, this is the most difficult for track athletes because it's like the unknown, you know? Like, you've been training really well, feeling really good, and then you just want to go out there and just compete at a high level, and you're not really sure, like, you know, what to expect. So, hopefully I can just go out there and execute a good race, feel good about it, and, and come out with a win, too. And hopefully it can be something special. Then right next to you, we got Tokyo Olympian champion as well, Canadian record holder, and I don't know in how many events, Andre de Grasse. Andre, you don't really race indoors. I think 2022, 2023, you were not indoors at all, but now you're back. I think you already raced a couple 60s this year. What is your goals? What are your plans for Mill Rose Games? It's a big stage. Yeah, um, for me, of course, um, yeah, I haven't done it professionally. I think this is my, yeah, my third time doing it professionally, but I used to run in a lot in college, um, but yeah, I think just me coming back, I wanted to kind of just work on my start, get back in the 100 meter mix. Um, for me, I think that's gonna help me forward towards towards outdoor, um, if I can like, kind of just nail the start or just be with my competitors at 30 meters. So yeah, that's kind of my game plan. I just was like, I mean, come out here, run a couple indoor 60s. Of course, you know, New York is you know one of the, the best places to run it, the armory. Uh, I love coming here, this is my, Third time coming here, I ran it at uh, NJCAA's and then uh, I made my, my professional debut here uh, when I went pro. So um, I always love coming here and running with, with my family and friends close by in, in Canada. And then I have some family up here in New York and New Jersey. So I was like, this is the place to, to run if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, the atmosphere is absolutely great at the Armory. And I really feel like you're racing against the best. You know, you got a world record holder right next to you. How important is that for you? The race here against the best at the Mill Rose Games? Yeah, I, I love the competition. I always uh, love competing against the best. And of course, you know, competing against the world record right here, Coleman. Um, you know, he always gets the job done. So it's like, it's perfect. Like I can see where I'm at going towards outdoor, um, see where I, where I can be competitive. And uh, for me, like, uh, it's all about like, just trying to just get better towards that 60. So if I can run a personal best, which I haven't done in like five years, so that would be great. So I just wanna just kind of go with him and, and just see where I'm at. And let's go back to Christian real quick. Uh, Christian, I feel like this has been a special place for you the past two years in the Melrose Games. You came back here in 2022 and it was competitive. You came back last year, it was competitive. Why does the Armory, the Melrose Games, always bring out the dog out of you, I really feel like? like you, you, be a comp you be competing every single time you have Melrose. I'm sure, I mean, I won't necessarily say it's more so the Army as much as it might just be so I just be me, like, I feel like anytime, like, <laughs> I feel like anytime I get out there, like, especially like running against the best in the world, like, you wanna win, like, you know, it's, it's highly competitive, um, especially going up against guys like indoors that you're gonna see outdoors as well, like, you know, you wanna try to set the tone. And so, um, but I do feel like the Armory, like, just brings a special and like a different type of atmosphere, you know, like, um, I love how like, it's, you know, really intimate. It seems like the fans are like right on top of you. Um, and then being in New York, you know, it's like, you know, the, one of the capital cities like here in the U.S. So, you know, the fans are really knowledgeable and excited about the sport and um, I feel like that just brings a lot of excitement and, you know, brings out the best of me as a competitor. So, it's really exciting. There you go, there you go. That's our men's 60, women's 60 meter hurdles. Mike J. Well, you know, I, I hate to be redundant and repetitive, but it's still four of the best of all time, not just best in the world today, but best four best uh, uh, of all time in their respective uh, events. So now you ladies, uh, uh, Nia Ali, you've been a, uh, at the top, or near the top for many, many years, a seasoned veteran. What continues to drive you to be the best and be on this big stage you're gonna be on Sunday and bigger stages to come? What, what continues to drive you? I mean, I know the obvious answer would be like my children, but <laughs> honestly, I think that there's still just a bit more that I feel like I want to accomplish before it's all said and done. Um, there's been a lot of times where 
I feel like I just fell short on myself and I could have done a lot more to prepare myself for like the bigger moments. So, you know, just trying to round it all together and give it a final push to be able to do what I think I can do. Hopefully that final push isn't coming anytime but too awful soon. <laughs> Uh, Danielle, two-time world champion, eight years of partying, kind of crazy. <laughs> very crazy. But it means that you have been very good for a very long time. What continues to drive you? What 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 uh, what's your motive each and every time you start <coughs> practice the next year or your first meet? What is it that Danielle wants to achieve? Well, I think um, I still have a lot to give in the sports, and I still enjoy it. It's very fun for me to go out and compete and try to run as fast as I can. And that's really the motivating factor for me. Like, I enjoy what I do, I love it. And so as long as I love it, I'm gonna get up in every season, no matter how disappointing the season was before, I'm gonna start anew and try to set goals and try to smash them. You know, wise man once said, if you love your job, you never go to work. Absolutely. But I still go to work. But yeah. I still work. yeah. But you're not punching a clock. No. Absolutely. So I got, a, I got the same question for both of you. This Sunday, this weekend, you could be competing anywhere in the world that you wanted to. Why the Milrose Kings? Well, me personally, I've never competed here, so this is my first time. Well, welcome. Thank you. Uh, the atmosphere always looks so, I uh, always watch, and it looks so exciting to be here. And so I'm like, you know what? Let's go. Um, I'm at like the, probably the tail end of my career, and so I'm trying to do new things, go new places that I've never been before, and so I thought, you know, Ray is, my, Ray is actually my manager, and he, he invited me down, so I'm like, all right, Ray, I'm gonna come and hopefully have some fun and run fast. How about you, Leo? Um, as many of you here at the Armory may know, I've been, hey, Rita. <laughs> I've been coming here for, I don't want to give out my age, but over two decades, um, really like since high school or a young kid, I've been running here in New York. My family's from Philly. Um, I have family up here in New York as well. So it's the best chance for me to be able to get, I mean, at least 20 people here to see me run. And that doesn't happen very often. So um, I enjoy coming to run in the armory and just seeing a lot of familiar faces that I've been seeing like all my life, even like the starters and um, officials there at the race and also the competition. I mean, everybody likes coming to New York, so it's always gonna be a great feel in a fast race, opportunity for me to run fast. You know, Christian mentioned that the, the intimacy uh, within the armory and, and the fans are literally on top of you, okay? You've been here, as you mentioned, off and on for two decades. Right. How cool is it now as a top professional opposed to what it was in high school? Were you, were you able to appreciate it then? Have you appreciated it more each year? Tell us a little bit about how that has progressed through your mind over the years, the, the crowd and the just the welcoming atmosphere. You know, it's cool. Like, at one point I was one of the fans and I remember being like very young and having a section up at the top and just running back and forth with my friends. So now after my race, I go up there and I see young kids doing the same thing and they come and they ask for pictures and you know, they're with their track clubs and everything like that. So I think it's cool how consistent it's been over the years and um, it hasn't really changed much, but like Christian said, like the intimacy is always there and you just feel them like they're right on your back when you go down to the starting line or when you're just in the infield, you literally can talk to people in 